Get her guys, here you go. It's your host, be ready to go off and leap. And um, clutch exploded in the club sport, so I've got a Mantic stage three to go onto it. Just got the um, pressure plate on. Just starting the torque sequences. See, I've got the um, pilot bearing in for the spigot shaft. Um, I believe it goes this way, so we've got the small end with the um, needle bearing sort of exposed at that end. And then you've got this big thick end which goes back towards the gearbox because the um, there's actually a wee um, rubber o-ring in there if you could see it. That end goes towards the gearbox to retain any grease and whatnot. Um, yeah, so we'll push that in. Apparently they're meant to be a clearance foot, but um, they're meant to be tight and you hammer them in, but that's... Oh, about that, Manta. We'll try her out, that's what come out of it. Right, so anyway, I've locked the uh, flywheel up with a chain here. Just googled it, and that seems to be the way, so I'm going to have a go at that. And I think the first torque settings are around 15 uh, foot-pounds and then around 36 foot-pounds and then on the second sequence and the third uh, tightening sequence is um, 74 foot-pounds so go ahead and torque that up not sure where I'm at, I'm going to have to adjust this torque wrench I think because I'm pretty sure I'm well over the 15 foot-pounds Up to 30, so around 34, reset it, 30, 30, 36, I think I'm probably just about there. Already passed it. Okay. Go ahead and crank that up to seventy four then. I got seventy six just because I can. Seventy forty. 50, 60, don't use your torque wrench as a hammer as I have, it's a bit tight this one, 70, 76, which ain't coming loose, I've had one come loose before and I thought I had um, run a bearing or something horrible, it's just the um, flywheel loose. Okay, so they're all talked up in sequence. I don't know if you notice, but I actually sort of kind of work my way from there to there and then go the far furthest one away all the time. That sort of sequence. Sort of similar to talking down here. Anyway, I can take that off. 
chain served me well. Get on that next time. Yeah, apparently this clutch is going to take 500 k's to break in. I've never, never had one of these clutches before. I've run so much horsepower as a 460 horsepower. It's about 555 newton meters um, at the rear wheels. This um, clutch is rated to uh, what is it? Is it 12, 21 newton meters? I think it's called a Sierra Metallic. Um, clutch plate rather than the organic clutch so yeah you've got to run it in for 500 k's of um, city driving so you know changing down through your gears uh, lots and all that sort of care in comparison to uh, motorway driving where you're um, you're not doing too much gear changing which wouldn't be good for it um, yeah you're not meant to over rev it as well apparently um, yeah, so I'll do 500 k's around the town, and I've got a car meet with my car group. Um, what is it on the seventh of seventh um, of May? So I'm going to get this thing ready. Try to run it in, because otherwise I'm going to have to baby it when I'm out with the boys, which I don't really want. Got an alignment tool in here. Some new bolts, pressure plate. Don't need the old ones anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know how we're going to go for angles here. my experience it's always a sticky yaddy but see the side's got a bit more sort of snout to it in here that usually goes into your pressure plate whereas the side is pretty much flush so yeah we'll put this side that's sticking out here on the hub Towards the pressure plate and the flush side back to the uh, flywheel. Get my wheel line with the pull. How much play have we got in there? Not too much. We'll give that a quick wipe before we proceed. A bit of wax and grease and remover is what I'm using. Sure, degreaser would be uh, be more available to the your average mechanic, but backyard mechanic, backyard if you're watching me, I'm still mine in the paddock. I always see you, baby. Centering up that clutch plate now. Could be freaking anyway.
hold on. So I'll make do. Let's do my hammer type trip we got. Try that again. So I've given us a good hiding with the um, grinder and that corner up there. So hopefully that'll um, stop the snout of the starter motor hitting. Try it out. It. These dowels are horribly tight, so I've given them a wee sand and inside the. Um, Dell holes on the gearbox, but I'm actually going to put a wee bit of um, a tiny wee bit of grease in these Dell holes. I might just alleviate it so I can get it back off. I hope without barring the screwdriver for this time. Be nice. Let's Tolerance is a bit nicer and a bit of grease. Well, anyway, most importantly, I hope the um, starter motor snout clears the bell hole. And I'll just about call that good. It's just not bouncing anywhere. Put my grease away. I don't know what I need that for. Do I need to leave it on the spigot shaft? Probably. Yeah, so I can see clearance in there. You can see that, but happy with that. Cool. Another day, more new parts. So on account of a crack starter, I got myself a new one. It's looking pretty worse for wear on the snout anyway, so nice new replacement from my mate Jono at Napa. Good man, cheers Jono. And I'm gonna clean the gearbox up and fit up this um, concentric slave cylinder as well. Yeah. Then I can fit the gearbox up once I've got these two on. And um, then go about putting the drive shaft back on and um, exhaust and the likes. And then I've got to put all my bloody um, rear tow bar and bumper back on, spare wheel back in, and everything back in the boot. I was doing weight reduction, so I took the back seat out, tow bar, spare wheel, all that stuff to um, drop some weight. And I drained the tank, so I don't know what I lost. I reckon I probably took nearly a hundred kilo out of it, to be honest. Um, especially with fuel, because I usually run it uh, full 75 litres. So, yeah, anyway, crack into it.
but it's not hot. I repeat my last mistake, I cracked the starter motor. I'm going to torque these up to, I think it's 37 foot pounds. 36 or 37, either one will be rough enough for me. All we need. Beautiful. No cracks this time. Yes. Um, so, I guess I can get my bell housing onto the gearbox now. And concentric slave cylinder. After giving it a clean up, and then I can drag it under, get it up on some trolley jacks, and uh, align the spigot into the clutch pipe. The bell housing to the pilot bearings. Um, so let's get that done. Oh, well, got a bolt in it, so we're nearly there. Start pulling her up on bolts. So I got the clutch back in. Last thing to do is put Fuck can't. So I got the clutch back in, last thing to do is put the exhaust back on and also too I've just got to put the um, console and stuff around the, um, the gear shifter. But I can start it and try the clutch out now, so, and I've got to back back just slightly so I can uh, get one more drive shaft bolt. Yeah, anyway, it's going to be loud, have a listen. I bet your GoPro won't do it much justice.
old bargain. See? Burning a bit of the uh, brake fluid off the, um, the exhaust there, I would say. Right, got a clutch, I'm happy. Clubby's back in action, I'm gonna put the engine cover back on. Be driving it tomorrow, to run this clutch in. Oh well, cheers guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Appreciate it, cheers. Peace out.